Hello and welcome to Money Control. Ever felt like investing is a bit like riding up a roller coaster? Then buckle up, because today we are diving into the thrilling world of risk return analytics, where money meets math and makes magic. Yes, you heard it right. But now you must be thinking what exactly is risk return analytics? So high risk is equal to high potential return. Now risk return analytics is the GPS for your investment journey. It helps you understand the trade-off between the risk you take and the return you expect. Think of it like this. Would you rather invest in a safe government bond or take a chance on hot new tech stock? That's the risk return dilemma. you might be having a lot of times. So risk equals to uncertainty and return equals to profit that we all know. Now let's break it down for you. So risk is the uncertainty, the chance your investment might not perform as per your expectation. And the return is the reward, the profit you make. So risk return analytics uses the tools like standard deviation to measure how wild the ride might get and calculate the returns to see if it's worth it. What should you use it? You may ask now. So you can use stocks, bonds and mutual fund. Anytime you're making an investment decision, whether it's buying a stock, diversifying your portfolio or choosing between the mutual funds, the risk return analytics should be your best friend. It's like checking the weather before a hike. So sharp ratio, if we talk about it, then it is return minus the risk minus the free rate or the volatility as per the conditions. So let's say you are comparing the two investment. One gives you 8% of returns with higher volatility. The other gives you 6% with lower volatility. But which one is better? Now you might get puzzled in that. So enter the sharp ratio. So it tells you how much return you are getting for each unit of risk. Higher sharp ratio, the better the investment. So that is how you can come out with a solution for your investment choice. Now there are several models to help you out. So CAPM predicts the expected returns based on the market risk. The Sortino ratio focuses only on the downside risk because let's face it, we only worry when things go south. VAR and CVAR, they tell you how bad things could get on a really bad day. So risk return analytics helps you make smarter decisions, manage your portfolio like a pro and even boost your return. It's like having a financial crystal ball, only it's powered by data, not magic. Depends on the historical data, ignores the qualitative factors. Of course, it's not perfect. It relies heavily on historical data. And we all know that history does not always repeat itself. Plus, it's all the numbers. It does not account for things like company culture or market sentiment. Now, at the end of the day, investing is about balance. So risk return analytics helps you find that sweet spot between playing it safe and going big. It's not about avoiding the risk, it's about understanding it. So next time you think about investing, remember, don't just roll the dice, analyze the right. Because in the world of finance, the best returns come to those who risk wisely. With that, it's a wrap for most of updates. Keep watching moneycontrol.com and please like, share and subscribe to Money Control's YouTube channel.